Hi YouTubers, I have finally got my act together and have set up a YouTube channel. I will be sharing a lot of my planner setups on here. Um, so if you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can keep on top of um, what I'm sharing here online. Um, so this is my main planner that I'm using at the moment. This is the Filofax Original in Patent Nude. Um, this has basically everything in it. Um, I have taken my finance section out and moved that into my pocket chameleon, which is my wallet and my finance tracker. So you can see it's still pretty full at the moment. Um, I have had a few originals, a few Moldens, a few Kiki Ks. Um, I sold all my originals, but I just still love them so much. So um, one of the things that was an issue is the lack of storage, I guess, and pockets. Um, so if you have been looking at an original, I have managed to overcome a lot of these storage issues. So um, hopefully that gives you some ideas. I've also got this um, in the patent black, um, which I'll be setting up uh, probably next month. So I will pop another video up of that. So here we go. This is the inside of my planner. I have my two favorite pens here. I have my Uniball Micro and my Kiki K Fun Black ballpoint pen. I've also laminated a piece of cardstock here just to pretty up the front and I've added a couple of bow paper clips here. I had a lovely girl make me a heap of these. I have a bit of a bow addiction and a journal card addiction which you'll see throughout my planner. Um, I'm not into pom-poms and tassels and fluffy things and unicorns and that kind of stuff so pretty basic. So in here I just have a little um, grid passport size notebook with just a few little bits of information I need to get on top of um, but they don't actually need to be in my planner at the moment and I also have a striped laminated dashboard here um, just to protect the rings uh, sorry the leather from the rings when the planner is closed um, the front here I have a transparent fly leaf that I made I bought some gold foil photo overlays at the reject shop and I've just hole punched them and put slits in them so I can move them around my planner and I just have a few to do things here at the front um, if I put them you know further down my planner in my personal to do section they'll never get done so they're just things that keep you know they're reminding me as soon as I open my planner then I have my dashboard and I have a little card here with my personal details um, should my planner be lost then on this side I have another overlay as well and a um, another journal card I love this saying so I added some stickers popped it onto a piece of cardstock and laminated it um, then we come to the month section I have another journal card here <clears throat> I've gone with the Webster's pages inserts the um, paper quality is fabulous and I just really like the, the layout of the inserts as well. So um, I guess the main thing I'm kind of getting my head around is that it starts on a Sunday the week. Um, but I do love that you can see the previous month, the following month, and that all the boxes are lined. It just makes it a lot easier to write on. Um, this is basically my bills for the month. So each week I can look, oh my God, that was a bill-free week. Hallelujah. Um, all the details of the bills are actually in my weekly section. The back of the, um, each month has a, a notes page, which is lovely. And um, all the tabs come with it. And the gold foil finish is really lovely as well. Now the weekly inserts are also Webster's pages. Um, I did try vertical but um, it just didn't work for me I had too much stuff to write in there so generally I keep the previous month the current month and the following three months in here at any one time but as you can see I do have a lot to write in here um, I don't overdo the stickers they're mainly for a bit of color and functional stickers um, and another journal card so the next section is my work section I have a physical um, shop as well as um, I do online orders as well so my online orders once they're completed they've and finished they get clipped in behind here then I have my personal section 
Um, so I just have some contacts I need to um, follow up for quotes. I'm doing um, some minor house renovations at the moment. And then I have another section just with some numbers that I use um, and addresses, um, career company, my bank, my internet provider, some passwords under there. And then I have this little gift section. So as I collect things through the year for people, I just have a list of things because I never remember what I've put away for them. But I probably need to go through my house because I have no idea where I've put them. Um, the next section has another little one of these pretty gold um, overlays. And a journal card which I thought was quite apt for this section, Treat Yourself. So this is my wish list section. Oh, my dream section. Um, I am slowly checking things off, so that's pretty good. Then I have my shopping section. Um, just keeps me on top of what I've ordered online and where my orders are at. And then I have another gold foil flyleaf. And then I have a couple of top opening pockets. So this solves the problem of um, storage, like the personal mold and I had had a lot of pockets that I would put my stickers and sticky notes and whatnot in so I have a couple of top opening pockets with um, my functional stickers in here for on the go planning I also have my business cards in another one and then I use this credit card sleeve for my um, page flags another journal card and some more sticky notes and I just have um, two rulers one in inches and one in centimeters and another journal card um, which I got from a lady in the US she closed her store it's all her own original artwork which I loved and of course another bow paper clip so if you're thinking storage with the original is an issue there are ways around it um, I love these planners they're absolutely beautiful um, this one did get a mark on the back of it um, which was quite devastating I tried to live with it for a couple of weeks but I ended up putting a vinyl decal on the back um, yeah but my OCD has kicked in and now I've decided I need something on the front so that's on its way um, anyway I hope that gives you a little um, bit of an idea of setting up an original with the lack of pockets um, yeah anyway hope you enjoyed that and I will be back with a video probably next of my pocket chameleon if I can find it Sorry for the filming with one hand. So that's my little pocket chameleon that I use as my um, um, wallet and expense tracker. So I might pop a video up of that and how that's set up at another time as well. And of course, another little bow. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. And if you've got any questions um, or any suggestions, um, just pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thank you.